Hi, and welcome to another episode of Hot Takes with me, the Silver Fox. And once again, we're going to do a story about another SNP failure. They seem to be coming a lot, don't they? It seems every day more fail after fail after fail. And this failure is like so many of the others. It's spectacular and it's horrendously expensive. Why do they keep letting morons have control of areas that they don't know what they're doing? This time we have a quango, it's an investment quango. It was given a lot of money, taxpayers' money, to invest in various businesses and projects and things like this. Uh, these investments turned, uh, turned sour, went south, fell off a bridge, whatever. They've failed. They've failed like so much and it was a spectacular failure. Everything they do ends up being a complete shambles, doesn't it? But this shambles has just cost the taxpayer £30 million. Pounds. I think this quango needs to be wound up uh, and just basically t told to go away and not be allowed to spend money like this because they're obviously incapable. Well, we'll take a look at it, see what's going on and see where the money has been wasted yet again. Money better served in the NHS, I suspect. Here goes. So SNP Quango writes off £30 million of taxpayers' cash amid a flurry of failed investments. Tell me it isn't so. Tell me something else created and run by the SNP hasn't failed in a spectacular and hugely expensive way. Just for a change, can we have something that ever actually works? No. No, because this is the SNP. It's completely run by morons. Anything to do with money, you look at Shona Robinson, a woman with an IQ of 86, and she is responsible for things like this. It's unbelievable, isn't it? Well, actually, no, it's, it's far too believable. Well, that's even sadder. Anyway, Scottish Enterprise is tasked by the Scottish Government to invest public money in businesses, but admitted a loss of almost £30 million in the last financial year, leading to concerns it's not being careful enough with taxpayer cash. Now, I'm going to have to ask the question here. Is anyone involved simply handing over investment to people they know? Hey, look, I've got all this money. Let me invest this. With, oh, look, it's gone down. Oh, no, never mind. Meanwhile, the owners of that business have bought themselves this, that and the other and had a very nice holiday and salted away millions into the bank. There's no accountability. They don't like accountability, the SNP, do they? So Scotland's publicly funded economic development body was forced to write off almost £30 million of taxpayer losses in the last financial year. As concerns were raised about whether it was spending public cash appropriately. And the answer is no. And the, you know that because it lost £30 million. Nothing. When you're making investments, you should be making a profit. And if you're not, then something is seriously wrong. Scottish Enterprise took a loss on its investments in 111 companies. The revelation came following the news that Scottish National Investment Bank, which is funded by the Scottish Government, also admitted it had only seen a £10 million return from £460 million of money being handed out. Now, I would suggest that even incompetent investment totally incompetent investment. If you gave me 460 million, I would be able to return 30 million by doing nothing. Literally, put it in a bank, throw it into the stock market, wait a year, come back, and I've made 30 million and I've done nothing. They're only making 10 million and they're active. It's unbelievable. So obviously they're making their 10 million return on the investment, but then how much is it all these people running around doing this, this and this costing as well? I'm going, give me 460, throw it in. There you go, come back a year later, 30 million profit. There you go, there's your 460 back. I've got 30 million, gobs are good. And, and I've done sod all, it's cost nothing. What is wrong? What is wrong with these people? Anyway, Scottish Enterprise wrote off a total of 29.9 million for the 12 months to the end of March, 2023 according to its annual report. This included failed investments in the like of making energy using kites, 
networking site for professional footballers. Can't they pay for their own? And a producer of rock and heavy metal magazines. How big's that market? I mean, seriously, I've got... It's, it's almost like Dragon's Den, isn't it? Except it's Dragon's Den for morons. I've got this really great idea for making a lot of energy. It's really free and it's cheap energy. And all I need is £10 million. What does it involve? Well, we're going to get all these kites. We're going to fly them up. And as the wind blows the kites, it pulls the string. And as it pulls the string, it turns a generator. And away it goes and we, we generate electricity. Don't you keep needing to rewind? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's, yeah, that's physics. Don't worry about that. Just give us the ten million, okay then, and I hand it over. And let's look. A networking group for professional footballers, isn't the FA rich enough? Seriously, and I mean, okay, I like a bit of rock music. I like a bit of metal, but magazines. It's so nineteen nineties, isn't it? Is Kerrang even produced anymore? Who's making these investments? Who's making money off these investments? This don't half stink of, like, a bit of grift. Anyway, the Quango is tasked with investing in businesses and provides loans or grants after a period of due diligence. Due diligence, my arse. Opposition critics have pointed out it needs to be more careful as it is utilising public cash to fund these organisations. To fund their mates... Scottish Tory MSP Murdo Fraser said there is a risk in any investment or business, but Scottish Enterprise has the responsibility to use taxpayers, taxpayers' money, excuse me, uh, effectively. It is concerning to see that the most recent investments had to be written off, and they add up to almost thirty million pounds. The SNP government may be in the habit of squandering public funds in this way, but supposedly arm's length public bodies should not be following their disastrous example he says and they shouldn't kite energy from kites and surely surely the fa should be providing networking for professional footballers for god's sake uh nationalist <coughs> excuse me or no i suppose it'd be sfa but even so scottish football association isn't entirely bereft that it can't set up a bloody website a bit of linkedin for football or something you know booted in thrown in thrown in that'll be it anyway Nationalist ministers are concerned about the upcoming budget as they need to plug a £1 billion black hole. And if you think it's £1 billion, think again. That was a billion before them, all those announcements. A billion before the Brains Trust got up and said, oh, we're going to freeze council tax. That's likely to cost another billion. It's just morons making decisions and then handing decisions to quangos filled with their chums who are also morons. Energy from kites, for Christ's sake. Anyway, Scottish Enterprise has backed a number of successful firms, including Skyscanner, which is an online travel search firm, which was sold for £1.3 billion. The former COO of this business, Mark Logan, is now employed by the Scottish Government as a chief entrepreneur and earns £200,000 a year. More public money. If he was that good, surely he should go out and, uh, you know, make his own money. But, you know, it's just saying, just saying. Uh, other successes include Current Health, which is a medical devices maker, sold for 318, and Ex Excientia, the Dundee University spin-out, which develops artificial intelligence tools for drug development and is listed on the Nasdaq. And these are great that they're winning and they're winning and they're winning. And I don't object to investments in sound products or sound investments. But seriously, kites... Is there a little kite maker in our broth that happens to be the, the brother-in-law of someone sitting in an office of this quango? And uh, he's going, oh, well, you know, a couple of million, get a couple of million. Oh, yeah, there you go. Yeah. What are you done with it? Oh, there was a big problem with all the strings. We lost all the kites. We Strong wind came, blew it all away. Blew two and a half million pound, blew away. It's shite, isn't it? It's utter shite. I can't believe, I can't believe that Look, kite power. Try, look, there you go. Try and develop power from kites. Unbelievable. Morons, isn't it? It's morons. I can't get over it. I just can't. Basic, basic understanding. That's all you need. People with a half a brain. Give us half a brain. I've got to stop because it's going to annoy me. I'm coming up. Quite literally, you couldn't make it up. I'm just astonished at this. I don't mind them the successes, of course. But 
tights. Who sits there and does this? Who looks at a professional footballer and says, oh yeah, because you haven't got much money, we'll pay you so you can make a web page so you can talk to other footballers. It's a joke. But I'm not surprised. It's the SNP. They don't give a shit. It's not their money. It's your money. They don't care. But uh, they're having their budget soon, aren't they, on the 19th? Hmm. That'll be interesting. And they put taxes up again to pay for it. And you watch as everyone who can get their money out of the country <laughs> runs south. Runs to the south. Runs to the border to try and save their wealth. They don't want it taxed to smithereens by 86 and a clandestine clan of clowns. Anyway, I shall finish there. Thank you very much for watching. It is a joke. Keep an eye out. We've got plenty more to come. Till next time, stay safe, stay well, and I will talk to you later. Bye.